Hey Boyd Drivers, my name is Beth Steed. I'm Director of Logistics here at Boyd Brothers and I've been here combined 16 years. And I'm Nick Walker, Director of Operations and I've been here for 11 years. We're here to talk to you about real time, real situations, and real life. So on our sales side, this time last year, we were entering into some very unknown territory. We were, you know, not in a place where we felt like we could raise rates just yet, although some of our competitors were. Uh, we were also unsure of certain markets. We were looking at the steel and the lumber industry as a whole instead of the two separate entities that they very much are. Then we started talking to some of the drivers who are actually in and out of these facilities every day and they started giving us some more insight into why we should use the lumber loads as our OJT training loads, why we should use some of our actual steel commodities and pipe as our training loads and saving these other loads for the guys who are on the road and getting home. And then we start looking at home time. We start looking at lanes. Um, we pulled a lot of different heat maps and the way we started comparing where people live, the money they needed to make, the hours that they had, and how we were going to make all of this gel together. And right now, um, what we're doing, currently doing um, with, uh, our, with our minimum pay, if a guy decided to go percentage, you know, and that's what we're pushing. Each, every driver, um, we, we, we've seen to where guys are making an extra thousand dollars a week now versus what he was taking home. Um, and it's because it's all about the revenue. The capacity being what it is right now, um, with, the, with us being able to get the rates that we're getting right now, we're basically losing money to pay guys. Um, yeah, we, we, we're offering all our percentage guys an additional 25% anything over 4100 in revenue. Um, you can't really put, put a number to it. But we also talk about and look at the revenue on every truck before every dispatch. Yeah. It starts with the plan and then we talk about the revenue on that truck week to date. And we look at all of the monitors on the board and you're no longer just a truck number. You're a name and your revenue is our revenue. Basically once, be, once, once the fleet manager get here <laughs> each morning, they're responsible for 50 to 55 guys. Um, it's a constant struggle. Um, guys are just steadily updating, updating, problem after problem. Uh, phone's ringing. Um, it's one guy that want to be taken care of versus the other guy. Um, uh, fleet managers go through a lot. They're responsible for making, I mean, they're responsible for everything. You got safety, other departments want what, they're, what they are want. And he's just simply trying to concentrate on this list that shows the revenue of a guy that think he's not making any money or want to make more money. And he's trying to get that together because ultimately he's responsible for this guy's family and what he take home each week. I tell you what I love the fact that we're doing now versus this time last year is we are being more so, we are so much more proactive where we're talking about things that are going to happen in two days and we're getting ahead of these problems and we don't have people out of place and we don't have people in the hole and we're getting in front of these issues as a team and I mean the, the yeah. fact that your team, my team are, I mean it's just, it, yeah. it's, it's actually amazing to yeah. watch. We're, we're anticipating the industry noise and trying to get in front of it to, to retain our drivers. Um, and I think we do a good job of that from a lot of different departments. Um, our recruiting department, um, they do a great job. Um, I think safety, um, you know, we've had the best safety scores we've had here in years. Um, and I, you know, as, as far as the revenue and deal, we, I think we was, we, we, were, we wasn't focused on the right number. I see one fleet manager that's killing it. Yeah. I mean, most of she has like two trucks that's on her board that's like, $2,500 in revenue from being way over 4500 So um, I think we're, we're we, I think that we've got tactics in place to move the needle and uh, just got to keep pushing.